G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Nah Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today, if you haven't figured it out by now, by the title, we're going to do a mask video. And particularly, we're going to do the Body Shop Aloe Mask. I'm actually excited about this. I picked up a few if you've seen some of my other uh, reviews on this line. This one's probably going to be the one that I've been excited about the most. Fingers crossed. I only brought three out of the four. And I do like the other two. I tried the vitamin C one and I thought that was nice. I think that the scent of that one could be better. I tried the vitamin E one and I liked that much better than the vitamin C one. Um, but I'm hoping that this aloe calming mask is even better than both of those as well. The reason why I didn't get the fourth one is because it's not for my skin type which is dry, sensitive. We're just going to keep it low key today guys. I've just realised that I've got my glasses on but I'm going to leave them on because I'm going to do a bit of reading for you anyway. Calm your skin. Help settle sensitive skin from external aggressors with the Calm Sheet Mask. Formulated with community trade organic aloe vera known for its soothing properties. This fragrance and alcohol free mask is the perfect choice for sensitive skin for instantly soothed feeling and 24 hours of hydration. This sheet delivers an optimal smooth and soft feeling on your skin and is produced with environmental responsibility in mind. Its fibres are created using sustainable eco friendly process and are developed to fully biodegrade in accordance with the European EN13432 standard. After four weeks, using the Calm Sheet Mask twice a week, the overall appearance of skin is improved. Skin feels at peace and skin looks healthier. Alright guys, well that sounds really good to me. Now enough of that, let's get this mask on. This is one of those ones that once you take the mask off, you can just rub the residue in and bada bing bada boom. So you could keep the juice from this, the leftover juice. Use it the next day or a couple of days over, just fold it over, stick a peg on and you're right to go. This week, not even this week, this year has just been one roller coaster ride after the other. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, it's had its good moments, obviously. I mean, not, not all life is bad, but it's definitely been trying and um, it's been testing me and challenging me to overcome some things that, you know, I'd rather not have to. But it is what it is, you know, and... Um, yeah, well, I've got a wayward hair floating around there, and um, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to figure out new fresh ways to do my hair, to pet myself up and make myself feel good, but um, hmm, I'm not good at hair, so yeah, man, if you guys have any hair channels or anything like that for really, and I mean really simple, um, medium style hairstyles, let me know below, because I, I'm keen, I'm interested, I, I can't, I can plait, but I can't do that braid where you add more hair in. I do a cheats one. Um, let's put this on. I do a cheats one where um, I do a twist sort of braid where I twist some of the hair and then I add some hair into it. But actually braiding itself is just not something that um, I've been really good at. Mm. Oh, that feels so nice already. Oh, that's... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, that seemed dramatic, but... This sheet mask is really cold and I was a little bit warm. Mm. Have you guys seen that video of the guy who puts this sheet mask on like absolutely perfect? I don't know how he did that. I, I, I think, personally, that that had to be one of those really thin um, cloth masks, not like these slightly firmer sheet masks because, I don't know, even just doing what he did, there's no there's no way that I could get everything in those crevices and, and perfect, so. It does have a smell, but obviously not a smell that they've put in. So this says to leave it on for 15 minutes. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I've already done um, two of the other sheet masks and um, I've made videos of them and they're up in the corner there if I'm not lazy I'll try and leave a link below I have some exciting news and if you follow my Instagram you would already know this um I have one of the new nine pan morphe palettes coming and I've never tried morphe before so I'm a little bit excited about it and also concerned that I won't like the formula yeah I'm excited to find out myself whether or not that I'm um, I'm gonna like it or not um I've got the I'm not even gonna remember what it's called the artistry 
I don't know, but it's a purple palette and I'm I'm really excited about that. I also picked up another one as well, but, but I can't wait to show you guys that and you're going to see it on my Instagram before you see it on my YouTube for sure. Um, this is feeling really nice guys, like I said, it's, it's never going to stay on my chin. That's one of the things that I don't like about the, um, the Body Shop face masks, if I'm being completely honest, is the fact that they don't... Um, I can't really go about my day with them and I like to be able to do that. To, I'd like to be able to relax too, but I mean, if I can't drink my coffee or I can't eat food or um, <laughs> eat food, I wouldn't normally eat food while I've got a mask on, um, but I would normally drink my coffee um, or talk or something like that, then I feel like I'm forcing myself to relax and then I don't really relax. Does that sound stupid? I don't know. I just... To me, relaxing is being able to wear my headphones or um, being able to kick back and drink my coffee or, you know, something like that. And I, if I can't sort of just do sort of like I want to do, I, then I'd be more inclined to put a cream mask on or something like that so it doesn't pop off or anything because um, it's just as messy. And, um, yeah. But I do like these. I just think that it would be better if they switched to a cloth mask. Um, I know that they can be biodegradable, um, the, the cloth ones. And um, yeah, I just, I think that would make it even better. So, so far this is feeling fantastic. I do have a little bit of tingling going on, but it's like the cold tingle, not the warm tingle. If you can sort of differentiate the two, I can. Um, I don't, I'm looking in my mirror, I don't see any um, skin irritations as of yet, but if you do see a little bit of pinkness, just know my skin always does that, it's just, it's the severity that changes, so um, I'll definitely know if I have a bad reaction, because you'll be able to see, like, you'll, you'll, you'll know, but if there's a little bit of pinkness, it goes away in a few minutes, so there's no drama, so... I'm enjoying this right now, but I think that I'll just stop gas bagging for a minute, and I'll wait the 15 minutes, and, um... Well, it's not 15 minutes now, is it? And um, I'll get back to you on my final opinions on this mask. Well, welcome back, guys. All right, so it is time to take the mask off. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I really enjoyed um, the way that this is making me feel. I feel that, um, except for this flap, which, you know, it's just a pet peeve of mine. It's got nothing to do with the mask itself, really. Every mask sort of does this. Um, we're going to take it off now, and we're going to see how we go. Just check to see whether there's any pinkness. And if you can see just above the forehead here, there is a slight bit of pinkness, but it's nothing. Like, it's all, as I'm talking to you, it's going away. And it just says to massage in the rest of the product. I have found that most formulas um, through the body shop has not left a tacky residue. And one of the things that I love so far about all of the masks, not sure about this one yet, um, but I'm sure by the time that I edit this video and I post it up, I'll know and I will actually either put it on the screen, my opinion of the next day, or down below. But my previous experience with these masks is the next day, my face feels fantastic, which is great because I'm a tight ass and I don't like to spend any more than $5 on my masks. And these guys, these are $7 each, or um, 3 for three for 20 I think. Hang on, yeah, 3 for 20 When I see a mask and it's like $3.50, $4.50, under $5, come on. I'm like, mm, you're coming home with me. But then 7 and I know, I know some people spend $20, $30, whatever, on masks. But I don't think that they should cost that much. I, um, I really don't. I mean... You start looking at spending like $30, $40 for a mask, I'm thinking to myself, get a good moisturiser, layer that stuff up, let it soak in. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't want to spend, I'm, mm, mm, not even if I had the money, do I want to spend $30 on a mask? So I do love the fact that these are still affordable, but if there are any more, if there were any more than $7 each, I probably wouldn't even be making these reviews, to be honest with you. I think that... I think that they could drop down to six or five. Um, I would pay eight dollars if it was the cloth mask, um, the the sheet, not this sort of like. I'm glad that this is biodegradable, but I really do enjoy the um, cloth feeling ones. That just makes everything so much better. It really does. I really enjoyed that, guys. Um, so far, it it feels really really refreshed. Um, 
I'm not going to say that it feels calm because I've still got that tingling, you know, and I don't mind that tingling when I don't see a massive reaction, but I don't know about calm. I would say that my skin feels hydrated. Um, I feel awakened, I guess, because because I've got that cooling sort of feeling. Um, what else? What does it say? It's settled, soothed, and hydrated. Well, yeah, there we go. Hydrated. I definitely hydrated. So, I do like it. I think I like the vitamin E one better though. So, out of the vitamin C, vitamin E, and this aloe one, I'm going to say that vitamin E wins for me. So, hmm. But you know what? This is really close. Like, I do like the fact that there's some leftover juice in here that I could use tomorrow. And I think I still had that with the other ones as well. But, yeah, I mean, this one's close behind the vitamin E for me. So, I guess it's just choose your poison, really. So, I mean, it's, yeah, they both feel the same to me, except I think um, the vitamin E one felt a little bit nicer on. Hmm. Anyway, guys, if you tried these, let me know your feels down below. I would love to know anything that you think. Have you tried the one that I haven't tried? What do you think about that? And you know what? I would really love to know what you guys think of the smell of the vitamin C one, because I feel that it should have smelled like orange or like really citrusy and it doesn't tell me how you feel below about the smell of that one because i i wasn't living for it and um i really hope that you guys if you're not a part of my channel or already become part of the family and um hit that subscribe button but if you are going to hit that subscribe button don't forget to check the bell so you can be notified of any time that i upload videos which is not as often as i want as i always say but i'm working on it and um let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see because I'm all for that. And um, go ahead, feel free. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, feel free to give me a thumbs down. It lets me know what videos to keep on making and what videos not to. So um, if you want to hit me up on all my social medias, I'll leave them up here. And um, yeah, guys, look, <laughs> thank you very much for tolerating my drama. And um, come on along for the ride and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.